I am the technical director for Project IVAS. I work for PEO Soldier under the IVAS program. I'm a Department of Army civilian, and so I am the director over all the technical aspects of the program itself. This Soldier Touchpoint 2 was to assess where we are, what have we learned, and what's working. Our job now is to test that, get the data we need to figure out what's next. Is that a right approach? Then how do we display network information in such a way that it doesn't overwhelm the soldier, but tells him where he needs to go, where his buddies are, and where the enemy is. So we're doing something called soldier-centered design. And as we walked into this, we realized normally the way the Defense Department approaches a problem like this is we come up with a specification for, say, a thermal weapon site. It has to be able to see a thousand meters under cold and hot conditions and in the rain and can only weigh four or five pounds, whatever the, the specification is. This one is completely different. In this case, we started looking at how does industry make a product? And the way they make a product is they figure out what does the user actually need? What does the soldier need to do? So that changed the approach. So instead of doing a specification, we did studies, soldier-oriented studies, where they came in and talked to uh, researchers to explain what their job really is. How do you close with and destroy the enemy? So that began to say, well, you need to be able to move, you need to be able to shoot, you need to be able to communicate, you need to be able to survive. So as we've done those things, it began to say what kind of technology approaches then were possible to get that capability to those soldiers. So the touch points now are the culmination of months of work where we actually put it in their hands and get real-time feedback, make improvements even on the site, and then think about what that next turn is gonna be. So instead of one stamped out design that we can give the soldiers that may or may not really work, this is designed in essence by the soldiers through this soldier touch point process. And what in essence it does, assuming we're successful with this, it will take the regular forces that are involved in close combat that have historically taken most of the casualties, it will give regular forces a similar capability to what special forces have across the board. That is the promise of what we're doing and the potential of what we might get out of this.